right now from holiday insurance nightmares to the best bread makers on the market. Every Monday we'll be tackling your consumer problems and more importantly, fighting your corner, but in an entertaining sort of way. Raring to roll up their sleeves and get their hands dirty are our dream team, top journalist Fiona Foster and lawyer Kevin Poulter. <laughs> Welcome both. Lovely to have you, have you with us. So, Fiona, this week's story is about what? <sighs> the thorny problem of cold calling. And oh. it is a big problem and it's getting worse, which the consumer organisation reckoned that in the month of June alone, there were some 700 million unsolicited calls made to households in the UK. Shout yes in the audience if you've had a cold call. Yes! That's 438% of them. Yeah. And what's more depressing than that even, I think, is that Witch found that six out of ten householders they spoke to said it was such a problem, it got so bad, they didn't even want to answer their own phone. So what can we do? Oh, That's the question. as bad as that. <laughs> Kevin, there's a lot of these PPI, these insurance yeah. things. That's the biggest one people seem to cope with. That's right. PPI insurance, um, double glazing still going, uh, and as well as um, have you had a delayed flight and want compensation back from that? And of course the lawyers. Have you had an accident in the last three years? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. My wife had a great one. We don't get the double glazing ones anymore because she said to the one that rang up, she said, would you like new double glazing? She said, it gives me migraines. <laughs> End of conversation. I'll give it to you free of charge from Mrs. T. It works really well. We have someone in our audience, though, today who took on the cold callers and won. Please, will you welcome Lee Beaumont. Please. <laughs> welcome, Lee. Have a seat, Uncle Alan. Now, tell Fiona and Kevin what your way of beating these cold callers was. What did you do? I was getting sick of the PPI calls. Mm. And most companies generate numbers starting 01 and 02. Yes. So what do I do? I buy numbers starting 08. Now, the 08 numbers, if I remember, when you dial them, you have to pay money. That's right. They pay 10 pence a minute. Then I make seven pence a minute on that cold call. So when any cold caller rings you up from PPI or from a double glazing salesman, you're charging them seven p a minute to ring you up. Yeah. So exactly. you keep them talking now, do you? Yeah. What a brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so. So how much have you made out of this so far? I made over three hundred pound over just last year. This isn't bad, is it? <laughs> Kevin, brilliant ways. Great wheeze. Um, and these things aren't banned. You're not prevented from using them. Uh, and like, g g novel idea, genius idea, really. Um, but you are discouraged from using them because these are really set up to provide services to people. Oh, come They're not on, really Ken. Individuals. You are discouraged. I bet you are because you can make money out of them. Absolutely. So we could, what do you think about this? Family? Do you think... Well, you've got, to, you've got to read the small print on this kind of thing. They're not yeah. meant for individuals. They're meant for companies. And the regulations are very strict. But at least it's so not going to be illegal. No, no, it's not illegal. If, if, you get, if you get round it, read the code fully, you can get round it. You can, and you've got round I it. I have got round it. So, are you going to retire soon? No. I'm not going yet, Alan. Actually, oh, thank you very much, cheeky monkey. Oh, I'll be taking a cut from your calls now. <laughs> How do we get around it then, Fiona? Well, I would love to tell you there was some kind of magic bullet that would solve it, but there isn't. But there are lots of things you can do. The, first and foremost, what I would do is I would get in contact with a telephone preference service, the TPS. Sign up to them. It's a register. And what it means is that you are opting out of all live calls, unsolicited calls. And by that I mean when you pick up the phone, there's actually a person there. It's not a recorded message. Right, so recorded ones, they still don't get you out of that? That TPS doesn't get you out of that. And right. it doesn't get you out of overseas calls either. And of course, a lot of these call centres are based abroad. Oh, right. But give it a go, because it's free. It's completely free. Now, people are saying, oh, well, how do I find TPS? What, what do you do? Go to your website. Go to my website. <laughs> and not my personal one at home. Because <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. T. will have a fit. I mean, she'll, she'll just say she gives her migraines. Um, so don't do that. So go to the show website, itv.com forward slash Alan, you can get the information there on, on this. And mission. if you've ticked a box though when you're buying something or when you're signing up to someone's service, that overrides the TPS. So if you said to a company, you can contact oh. me, they can still contact you. So that's really you. the first thing. Don't give out your number to start with. What about um, the electoral? Because councils give these things out, don't This they? has become a bit of an issue and, and councils can sell the electoral role. And well, the again, Registry of Electors, that's the right, Electoral's yeah. Church. You can, um, you can take away those numbers though. Contact the council, contact utility companies, contact whoever you want to do to get the number taken off. And, and the best thing to do is to speak to the people that are phoning you and yeah. say, take my number off this 
Chris but of Clark. course, Lee rings them up and makes sure they've got his 0800. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, make sure it's on all the forms. Definitely. Don't you? Yes. yes. <laughs> so if you're ringing Lee, we can't give the number. <laughs> Tem <laughs> tempted to. And be very vigilant. You know, some of these things are opt out, not opt in. So check watch the out. little box. Yeah, but the, it might already be checked. So uncheck it. Right. So read carefully. And what if you're you still do. getting them, make the complaints. That's what people need to do. They need to Who complain. To? Who to? Well, again, to the, if you're registered with the TPS, complain to the TPS. Otherwise, it's if it's a silent call and there's nobody there at the end of the phone. Uh, Ofcom. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it's the Information Commissioner's Office, but again, TPS right. if you're... All on the website. Now, you've got gadgets here in front of us, Fiona. Yeah, yeah. if you've done all that and you're still being bothered, yeah. you could invest in one of these. They come in a range of prices. This one, for instance, 39.99. the CPR call blocker. You plug it into your phone. What happens is it blocks 200 of the most... No, the naughtiest, the, naughtiest, the ones right. they know about yeah. already, and then it can block other types of calls for you, like withheld numbers or the other children calls. the same sort of thing. This ninety nine ninety nine more expensive, but much more complex. That's more like a receptionist. It kind of makes makes the caller tell you who it is, then it tells you who it is, so you can choose whether to speak to them or call, not. Call blocker, that's right, the true call. That's the true call, and this one is the the BT six five hundred. That's a handset. That's the difference with that. Again, can block certain types of call, yeah. and what it will do is it will route it into an answer phone, so you don't miss your call from Auntie Joyce Wonderful. in Australia. It makes it an awful lot easier. For more information about avoiding nuisance calls, go to our website, itv.com forward slash Alan. And don't forget, we want to hear if you've tackled the cold callers. Email alan at itv.com or visit our Facebook page. Fiona and Kevin will both be back later in the show. Stay